He lived long enough to see his dream come true. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office mourning the loss of one of their own. 49-year-old Deputy Timothy Geyer was found dead in his room at the Indiana Law Enforcement Training Academy Tuesday. News 8's Adam Pinsker tells us Geyer left his job in construction to fulfill his dream of becoming a police officer. Deputy Tim Geyer was sworn in in December of 2022, shortly after he enrolled in the Indiana Law Enforcement Training Academy and was due to return to the sheriff's office here in Johnson County after he finished graduating just two weeks from now. Uh, by Tuesday evening, a memorial was set up for Geyer here at the sheriff's department. Cadets at the class at Indiana's Law Enforcement Training Academy are shocked to learn a fellow cadet died. They're emotional, as all of us are. We announced to the class this morning, lots of, of heavy hearts, lots of tears. EMTs were called to Deputy Tim Geyer's room after he didn't show up for breakfast. They unsuccessfully tried to revive him. At this point, very preliminarily, it appears that this was a medical issue uh, that led to this untimely death. Uh, there is no foul play suspected. Geyer left his job as a construction worker to join the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. By law, he had to finish the academy within one year of being sworn in. And it's unusual for a 49-year-old person to be here. Typically, they're 25 years old and uh, starting a new career. And Deputy Geyer saw, saw it differently. And, and God bless him for being here and being willing to go back and serve the community in Johnson County where he was uh, raised. The director of the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy says cadets have to be at least 21 years old to enroll, but there isn't a maximum age limit, and no exceptions were made for Geyer despite his age. He held his own like everybody else. We don't age grade the, the, the fitness standards, the testing. Uh, they all have to do the same amount of push-ups, sit-ups, and, and physical exercise. Deputy Geyer leaves behind a wife and four children. This is the sixth line-of-duty death for law enforcement throughout the state here since the beginning of January. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.